Hi, my name is Ben Teplitsky, and I'm in uh, Dr. Helms Tillery's lab. I'm Steve Helms Tillery, and uh, Ben's in my lab. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Sensory Motor Research Group over in uh, Bioengineering. Hi, my name is Remy. I'm working for Steve as a postdoc, and we just tried the Mindflex. I'm Sean Hayes with the Center for Nanotechnology and Society, and I arranged for some neuroscientists to actually test out this toy. Alright, yeah, so these have got to clip to your ears. Alright, and so essentially what it is, you're going to want to sit in the chair with your feet flat on the floor. You want to try and move the muscle, that you want to try and hold your face as still as possible. Right? And what they tell you to do is to, to visualize the ball moving, visualize where you want it to go. Okay. And essentially what's, what, what's supposed to be happening is the, you know, it's supposed to be picking up the current in your brain and that's changing the RPM speed of a fan that right now is under the calibration point. As soon as I rotate it out, the ball will start to come up. <laughs> what is it like alpha increases when you close your eyes or something like that yeah I actually had Farzad Mahoudian in here the other day um, and he actually tried it while he was doing a little bit of meditation he closed his eyes uh -huh. and did the visualization with his eyes closed and they went First way up. up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You have a GSR too. What's that? You have a GSR too. It's really hard to kind of calm yourself down as something's doing what you want it to do. Yeah. It's almost counterintuitive. You get excited as the ball goes up. You start to sweat. I just wanted to see uh, what if you want to um, so, I couldn't. I wanted to see what happens if I remove the reference. Oh, I wanted okay. to see if he's actually still picking up stuff. But he got the, he got the, I can't put him. So you could easily see it being subconsciously marketed as a tool for training sure, kids who have yeah, ADHD, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got the other ones that are being marketed as pure sci-fi, you know, uh, geek juice, right? Like the Force Trainer, and right, they yeah. show the little kids dressed up as Jedi Knights, and they're levitating the ball with their mind. <laughs> so, I think it, it, I think that aspect of it is also pretty interesting. It's hard to keep it at a certain height. It's pretty. It's well designed, though. I mean, it's very, very nice and such a nice one. Like the tapping and everything doesn't change much. So unless they really... There's just one, yeah. Oh. Is that, is that metal or is that... I can't tell. It yeah. feels like aluminum. Hmm. I guess it's just one sensor. Just one electrode. Now how could they just do it with one electrode? Because I thought you needed a reference one for EEG. Those well, you're going to want to rotate right? it a but tiny bit. Like you, 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 you want to rotate it. Oh, uh, I guess there's, there's a bunch a of different bit. ways to do it, isn't there? Like, yeah, because you, uh, you want the metal point cross between all your different electrodes. Right, right above your left eye. Okay. Right with, above your left with eye. With actually, we remove the power from the surrounding electrodes. Uh -huh. But you, if you want, you can actually just get straight Here, from the reference. Interesting. You can connect one and there you go. First, then you go. There you go. Yeah, the lights were a nice touch. So, you know how you cheat a polygraph? Squeeze your butt. How's your what? Squeeze your butt. Really? Yeah. How do so, you cheat what? A polygraph. Really? Yeah. Um, he, like, tense. That's uh, what I can do to make it go up. Clench the Kegel muscles? Really? That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's funny. It's good to know. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs>
thinking okay. into herself. I actually was like, what? Like uh, slide the button forward. Begin. Calibrating headset. Calibrating headset. Calibrating headset. Doesn't like EMG, I guess. Huh. That was like, because here you can record SSVP. Mm -hmm. You'll get the exact same frequency than the flashlight that you're doing. So you will see it right up. You huh. can like, make it faster or slower, see if you can like, shoot it up. Huh. At first, it seemed like I was able to make it go oh. up okay. by looking up. Right. That's the thing yeah, I tried to do, but then stop doing it. Yeah, I tried Probably the same thing. Yeah, and then I also tried um, seeing what the effect was if I changed around the obstacles while the machine was still on, while I was still wearing it. Uh -huh. And if I didn't think about what I was doing, it was just moving them around. It didn't care. But when I actually started to think about where I wanted to place them, suddenly it started responding. Okay. Hello? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> Yeah, no, so it, be, it should be relatively easy, actually, if we can get this combined with an EEG recording. Because mm -hmm. then we can see what in the EEG signal the movement, the fans will Okay, actually, cool. It, it would be even easier than what I thought. We have, a, what they use at the PCH, yeah. with those electrodes, and we have three of them. So, so is that's the preliminary the conclusion that it is actually reading something inside the head? Um, I'd say preliminary, yeah. yeah. But I'm not sure. Cool. I think it's possible, because the thing is, it's really hard to distinguish because with one electrode. Normally what you do is you take one electrode and you remove the activity of the electrodes around it. Mm -hmm. So with one electrode plus just reference, it's very, very difficult. It's hard to imagine because the amplitude of the signal is so small. Yeah. There is a way to counter this, the fact that you have just one electrode by dividing, what, I think, gamma divided by alpha or something like this. So they managed to do it with one or two electrodes, but they have like recording like the system is eighty thousand dollars. Yeah. So I wonder like what I wonder is what's inside. Yeah. Well it's not inside there, it's inside the headset. What so Probably. that's most most like yeah. yeah. So I don't think you've ever seen it go that high. Use the force. <laughs> Yeah. That'd be fun. Do it simultaneously with some EEGs. Mm -hmm. 